tell you, we are going to continue investing money in roads. Uh, anyone who thinks that you can stop building roads has obviously not traveled outside of Montreal very much and doesn't understand how big this country is and doesn't understand what it takes to get to some of our resort communities. So I would say that uh, the, the, the environment minister has once again demonstrated how tone deaf he is on anything to do with environmental issues. Stephen Gibbon needs to understand that he lost. He put together a bill that was found to be unconstitutional. It's illegal. And the court told them they had to rewrite it. And part of the reason it was unconstitutional and illegal is because they did silly things like uh, 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 come into our jurisdiction and tell us what projects we, we could and could not build, including there was a line in there that any road that was longer than 75 kilometers needed federal approval. Well, the Supreme Court has found that to be unconstitutional and illegal. So I, I don't take much stock in Gibo uh, trying to assert that he has authority in areas that he does not. So we're gonna build roads. It sounds like Premier Doug Ford is going to continue to build roads. And I, I think that it's just a, another demonstration of the ideology. I mean, two weeks ago, he was telling us all that we had to drive electric vehicles. And now that it's, it's demonstrating that people don't wanna buy a, electric vehicles at the speed and rate that he's proposing, now we see he's sh shifting gears saying, well, you shouldn't, ha you shouldn't drive at all. You should take the bus. Well, that's not a, a reasonable option in most places in the country. So I would say that he's losing credibility every, every single day. I don't know why his caucus and cabinet are continuing to put up with it, but that's something that they're gonna have to deal with internally. But I think increasingly he's demonstrating how out of touch he is.